During last week's um, customer conference in Las Vegas, Tableau announced the Extension API. The Extension API lets end users interact directly with third-party applications. Um, what you'll get then is, for example, write-back uh, functionality or deeper integration with other apps, as you can read over here, which sounds pretty cool. Um, and you're probably wondering now, how can I get access to the extensions? Well, Tableau hasn't released it yet. Um, you can go to uh, this website and you can sign up for the developer preview. Um, you can go, so that's developer.extensions on the Tableau website. And here you can um, read more about um, the product. If you go to um, GitHub, you can actually clone and download it. You need to sign up for a separate um, installation of Tableau Desktop. Um, so the Tableau Extensions API is only uh, for desktop at the moment. And there are plans to add it into server. Um, but in server, you can obviously use the JavaScript API as well. Um, so, what you can do here is you can read um, about how to install it. There's some more documentation and there's some sample um, extensions. So the extension I want to focus on today is the um, dynamic parameter extension. Um, I didn't create that one myself. All the credits need to go to um, Kisha Rose. Um, you can um, find her on her GitHub page, uh, which is github.com Kisha Rose. Um, she can um, she basically built this um, as one of the sample um, extensions. Uh, you can download it here, dynamic parameter. And um, but what is a dynamic parameter? So a dynamic parameter is uh, whenever you connect um, to a data source in Tableau, you build your views and you have a parameter with, for example, region, and um, the data updates and a region is being added or multiple regions are being added. Um, what you have now in Tableau is that the parameter stays static, um, so it doesn't update um, automatically. But now with this extension API, you can add in a little um, add-on, which basically reads your data source again and refreshes your um, parameter. Um, why is this useful, you think? Well, if we go to the Tableau IDs uh, forum, which is in the community, um, can't see it now, but it's one of the most um, requested features in Tableau to have dynamic parameters or basically update parameters whenever data sources are being refreshed. So let's have a look at how that functionality works in Tableau. Um, so I'm going to open up my special instance of Tableau Desktop. Um, and this is the developer preview. So like I said, it's not been released yet. Um, there are bugs in it. Um, Tableau will probably release it somewhere in Q1 uh, next year, um, but for now um, you can just experiment it within the developer preview. So I'm going to connect to an Excel file which has some sample sales data. Um, we have regions, categories, subcategories, sales, profit and quantity. So let me quickly build out a scatter plot of the sum of profit and sum of sales by region and subcategory. Change the marks to a circle, and let's name this sheet scatter oh, scatter plot. Sweet. So we now have scatter plot, um, and let's create a region parameter. So I'm going to say create uh, parameter. We're going to create a region parameter, which um, for the allowable values we want to do all, so it's not fixed to central, east, and south. Um, okay. So we've now created this region parameter. If I show the parameter control, it now shows up and you need to type in any value. Cool. Uh, let's do something with this um, region parameter. So let's create a quick calculation called highlight, which will highlight the, um, the region selected. So that's the region parameters equal to region. It will create a Boolean and then um, add that to color. So now whenever I switch to another, if I type in south, it changes the marks color. So it highlights a different one. So I don't, let me not format it. I'm just going to edit the colors to make this stand out a little bit more. Uh, make that blue. Add quantity also to size. So we have the third dimension in here. Size a bit bigger. Sweet. So this is where the extension API comes in. So now 
we have a new section just above the dashboard objects, which is called extensions. And um, if I bring in my extension, we can see we still have my region parameter, um, a legend, and color. Cool. So what I'm going to do is these are objects, and you can add them to a dashboard. So I'm going to drag this dynamic uh, parameter. I'm going to add this um, to my dashboard. So what it's going to do now is it's going to load in and it's going to first ask me which worksheet. Um, I only have one, so I'm going to set it to scatter plot. Then it's going to ask me um, the data source, but I only have one, so it automatically selects that one. And the third step is select the field to populate the parameter from. So now you basically tell it which field should it look for um, in order to populate that parameter I created. So I'm going to do region, I'm going to set that field. Um, then it's going to look for a parameter that um, listens to that uh, field, so that's the region parameter, and we're going to set that. So now it created a parameter, so similar to the one I have here on the right, I have options here. So let me remove this one from the dashboard, let's make this a little bit smaller, so the scatter plot comes up. So we can now swap, and you can see the colors change. Excellent. But this is the same functionality as we had with um, normal parameters. Um, and the magic comes in when I'm opening up this um, file in Excel. And I'm going to open up this file. And uh, we now have our regions here. But let's add another region. So I created a separate file, um, which is this one. And let me copy over these values. So if I copy over these values um, and save this data source, save, nope. save, sorry, and go back to tablet desktop. Now, if I refresh my data source, you'll also see, uh, cool, the marks updated. So another region was added. But if I go to my dashboard one and I go to my region parameter, you can see the values haven't updated. So that's the same functionality as we had previously. It's still static. But because it's a web app, um, you need to reload it. So I'm going to reload this. Um, Tableau is working on making that dynamic. Um, so now if I use the drop down, and this parameter has updated, so it now includes the west. So you can go from central to west to east. Cool, so it now has updated and then I have a dynamic parameter. Like I said, Tableau hasn't released this um, openly yet. Um, you can sign up to get the developer preview. And other things you can do with this, um, because it's still early days, what I've seen so far is a write-back functionality. So you can have a form on your dashboard where people can fill things in and it's automatically sent back to the data source. Another good example um, is from my colleague Craig Bloodworth. He created um, um, an extension that um, does a bit more friend uh, user-friendly hierarchy drill down. Um, you can check out his video as well. I'll put that in the description. If you have any questions, you can always ask me on Twitter or send me an email. And then I'll see you in the next video.